Matthew chapter 27, verses 39 to 42. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests, the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe him. Thank God, Jesus stayed on the cross. Have you ever thought about it? Whilst he was going through all of this suffering and pain and anguish for something he didn't do, for sins he never committed. Here comes these people saying, if you really are the son of God, come down. If you want us to believe on you, come down. You could save others. Well, save yourself. He was attacked, therefore, from all different angles. Imagine as a male how ego must have been challenged when it is said you were saving others. Save yourself and show me. Imagine how the enemy must have hoped to get in his head when he says, if you come down, we will believe on you. Prove a point or do what we want so that you can get what you want. So many times we are tempted and tested and tried. So many times when it gets rough, we wonder, are we doing the right thing? Would it be better to fix this, to come out of this? Sometimes we want to come out of the trouble to prove a point. Imagine him if he had yielded to that temptation. Imagine if he had decided to cut the suffering and come down. If he had decided, I'll prove to them that I can come down, which he could. What would have happened to you? There will be no salvation for you. Sometimes the more convenient option is the worst option. Sometimes it is God's will for us to go through the hardship, to go through the suffering. Sometimes we have to be prepared to lose the reputation to accomplish the will of God. But he made us a promise. In 1 Peter 5 and verse 10, he says that after you've suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Go through it. Do not let the enemy goad you into jumping out. Go through it. Bear it. Finish the course. The suffering will only be a little while compared to the blessing. After you have suffered a little while, he will establish you. He will strengthen you. He will confirm you. Thank God Jesus stayed on the cross. Let us stay on like share comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and for more join us at 9 a.m on sunday mornings at 10 union square crossroads if you can't be there in person join us virtually via facebook live